Hello and welcome to another video of Edward 12. Here you can see me, la -de -da. let's shrink me down a bit. Shrink me down, shrink me down. Always on top, never prepared. Right, so like I promised, I'll do an, a video of the install from base. So we hit start, first time run wizard, choose the Zorin. 64 bit. Right, so we need to boot the live system because we can run it from the other or from the install rather than having to reboot like we had to with Camise. And you can see it all in real time. Obviously, I'll pause the video when it comes to when it comes to waiting for it to install. It does take a while, depending on your hard drive and the allocated RAM. Right, so this is your base install, uh, your base system with the, with your live CD. So like you see before, you've got your all your information, just to prove it, about me, live session live session user, and we're on live. And we go to system tools, and everything is there as you would expect. So I've not installed anything. I've not taken anything away. everything runs really nicely you don't get any desktop effects because we've not enabled 3D guest editions so we double click on install Zion OS and click on forward if you're in English Takes it. for best results please ensure this computer has at least 15.3 GB of available drive space is plugged to a power source is connected to the internet you will get this application error with a new one in the live CD. It is being fixed in an update. It's to do with Nautilus, which is a file manager, so don't worry. Zorin uses third party software to display Flash, MP3, and other media. And to work with some of the wireless hardware, some of the software is closed source. The software is subject to the license terms included with the software's documentation if you want to read it. You want to erase and install Zorin. If you had Windows and you were doing this on actual hardware, you would click on install alongside Windows. It's only because this is the own, there's no operating systems on it because this is just a base, an empty hard drive, so to speak. And you can only pick one drive because we've only give it one drive. We we'll give it about 67 gig, 68.7, and then you just click install now, and it'll detect the file system and it'll create as an ext4, which is what is pref preferred amongst most operating systems nowadays. To be honest, I prefer XFS or RazorFS. Sometimes I use AXT4 depending. So it copies the files. You click your country, you click your keyboard layout. You can type here to test your keyboard. Type in a username. I'm going to leave it Edward12. Type in a password. Give it a password. This will be your root password. Log in automatically because when you create a first user, you are administrator as then you would need to be an administrator really to install you get the welcome music it's a bit like the map where it explains it all in different languages to be honest I'm surprised they haven't filed a lawsuit against that To be honest, the first time this happened, it really it nearly scared the living daylights out of me. So anyway, it'll just say copying files. I'll pause the video and I'll unpause it when it's done. Right, just while it's continuing to record, some people may be wondering what are the minimum system requirements that I need to install Zorin OS. For the gnome based versions, which is the non-light, like the ultimate, the base, the core, is a 700 megahertz x86 processor. 3 gigabytes of hard drive, the reason it's 15 with this is because it's an ultimate 3 gig, uh, 376 meg of system memory which is RAM a graphics card capable of 640 by 480 resolution which is pretty much like the size of the webcam but a bit, bit bigger 
Um, for the LXDE, which is a light version, you need a 266 megahertz processor with two gigs of hard drive space, 128 meg of system memory, a graphics card capable of 640 x 480, and a sound card. And you can e and how do you install software? Is you can install it from the software center, or install it from packages you download from the internet. All the all the information will be on zorin-os.com/faq for all the frequently asked questions. And if you got an older version of one of the premium releases, would I get a free upgrade to the newer one, which I didn't know? You will either have to donate for a new physical DVD from the premium, or down, or a download of it to upgrade to the newer version of your premium release. Which means then I'm going to have to pay to upgrade to Zorin 6 Ultimate which I will do because it is a really good OS and we've almost finished copying files so then after this it should detect the hardware as you can see the lights flashing say that there's hard drive activity ready when you are so don't know, just move it configuring network system locales And all the information you need is on zorin-os.com, where there's a FAQs, there's a forum, there's an IRC, which is web-based. There's a developers for developers, which takes you to the developer for Ubuntu because it's an Ubuntu-based distribution. And there's even a contact center, which is a lot better than what Camise has. And they only provide technical support to our premium users. You have to follow the forum if you need help with the support with the free version of Zone OS. They even have their own blog where there's more news about Zone OS 6. We have recently released the Zone OS 6 Light and Educational Light, which are based on L Ubuntu 11.10, and this caused some speculation about the release of the other editions of Zorin OS 6. We have decided to, to base Zorin 6 Core Ultimate and me, Multimedia and Business Gaming Education on 12.04 currently in develop as opposed to 11.10 to significantly improve system stability and enhance performance and functionality as suggested by our users. We will be using our own desktop environment called Zorin Desktop instead of the Unity GNOME Shell and Cinnamon desktops to provide us familiar user interface with the support of the Zorin Look Changer. We currently do not have an exact release date for these editions, so please stay tuned for more information regarding these releases. Once your install is completed, just click on Restart Now. And it asks you to remove installation media and close the tray, which you don't need to because it's uh, mounted as a virtual hard drive so you just press enter and it'll take it from the mounted drives which now it's running off the hard drive so this is what you'll be presented with once you first install you want to use the top option unless you've got any other distros installed if it was in a actual on a hardware Windows 7 will be on there if you chose to install alongside Windows 7 I used to have Mint 12 and Zorin I now have Ubuntu and Zorin I decided to stick with Ubuntu 11.10, so when 11.12.04 uh, comes out, I can upgrade to that. So you get the usual login sound, which you can change under sound preferences. By clicking on there and clicking sound preferences, and go to sound effects and click on no sounds. Or you can even have the Ubuntu ones. So you choose no sounds, which means there's going to be no intro music. So install guest editions, you need to click on devices, install guest editions. Or prompt always perform this action in case you ever have to do this again. Click OK. This medium contains software intended to be automatically started. Would you like to run it? This software will run directly from the medium VM uh, VBox Editions 4.10, 4.1.10, 767795. You should never run software you don't trust. If in doubt, press cancel. Click run. Ask you to insert your password because you need authentication because you're running a, 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 um, a script as a super user. So all you have to do is put your password, click authenticate, it will go through the steps. When it gets to the building the guest editions kernel modules it will hang for a few seconds. Which is to be expected.
and as you can tell there's no wobbly windows or desktop cube at the moment when I say a few seconds I do mean like a minute so don't be screaming at me saying why isn't it done after 10 seconds like you said so there you go installation graphics libraries are successful uh, services components done press return to close this window and then all you need to do is power off the machine do not reboot because you need to change 3d acceleration under settings if you haven't already so you click on there this this one is literally this one but I've done all the updates on this one so click settings go to display give it max video memory you can enable 3d acceleration if you've got two monitors you can try that I've only ever had it to work in full screen with two monitors on Ubuntu I never tried it with Zorin yet so you won't better tell anyway because I've only select the um, display for like pretty much near enough one full screen minus the top and bottom bar so then storage leave that audio you can keep that it's network and serial and USB you can keep that shared folders you can add a shared folder if you want to share something with your virtual machine click on start again same same as before this time you shouldn't get any intro music it should just load up the desktop because I've chosen to in to start automatically unless you share unless you live alone in the middle of nowhere I would put a password on your account unless you feel totally safe leaving your computer open so now you've logged in you can load up say Nautilus and you've got wobbly windows squiggly wiggly squiggly woo then you can do your control all and click on the mouse and you can do the desktop cube or you can do control alt and down or you can do control alt and left and right that will go between the virtual desktops and then you've got all your fancy effects so then what you need to do is click on start system administration update manager like I said in the previous dis dis in the previous video always when you install a new OS install updates because it hasn't been updated for the last 244 days when it got released which is good enough three quarters of a year and there should be about 320 something updates as of yesterday so you down, you click on check and to resolve the issue of the Mars we're just going to untick that one it's the first person shooter game you basically need to force the install I'll show you how to install the updates on the graphical and I'll show you how to install it on a terminal so it seems to wait when it gets to release.gpg because it's pulling in all them updates don't worry about the slow 32 bit thing because I am on 50 meg and I am getting pretty much 50 meg broadband it does have this issue to do with the servers down at old Ubuntu like I said I, really, I cut out the other part of the video because it did take us some time once it's downloaded the packages it will after, you will have to wait about 10 minutes for the to download and install all updates like I said I'm looking forward to Zorin OS 6 to come out but first of all I want to mess about with Ubuntu 12.04 because you know that once 12.04 comes out all other distros are going to come out I won't class myself as, a, as an advanced user I would class myself as going on for intermediate I do know my stuff about Linux but I um, don't know all the commands in the terminal which I am learning it's the best thing about Linux is you learn something new every day 
I'll just pause the video while waiting for this to hurry up and I'll be right back. Right now this is done. Find the yeah, this bit is if alphabetical order, so let's look for M. Hmm. Ah, let's see if it's down at the bottom. For some reason Kazam isn't you cannot tick it. This one here, Mars, a ridiculous shooter, you would untick that. Click install updates, there'll be 323. There's normally 324. There's 862 megabytes, which is a massive download, so make sure you've got a decent internet connection. Right, so the other way to do it is to open up a terminal, which is under start, accessories, terminal. Then you would type in sudo, as in to run a command as administrator use sudo then you would type in app apt hyphen get then you would type in upgrade and because of that issue you would type in dash f then you would put in your password then it would say there's 313 upgraded four not upgraded need to get 466 mega of archives after this 214 mega of additional space will be used hit yes or y a enter and wait for it to download. This is not the same as this is doing the same process as doing the update manager, but you don't get a graphical user interface with a bar across to see how far you're getting. You'll just have to wait until it's all done. Anyway, this has been Edward12 on a video of how to install and update Zorin OS5 Ultimate Edition. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.